Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. Good news today, Keno. Looky here, Keno. I just got a letter from my granddaughter, Melinda. You want to read it? It is right here. He says she's going to arrive here on the 10th. Ain't that something? <laughs> I thought you'd like it. Now, I expect we'd better go on and get her to and get packed up and get on back to the digging so that she won't long for nothing. Come on, Keno. Let's go. Well, there goes old man Weaver. Yeah, Omaha. I think today's our day. Go get some water for Hercules, will you, Kino? Stashing away gold for years. Where is it? Now you're mistaking me for somebody else, dude. You know I ain't got no gold. Quit lying, you old coot. We know better. You've been cashing almost pure concentrate at the trading post in Denver. Not me. You got the wrong man. Say, maybe if we heat this poker up, it'll help you remember where you hid your gold. No, no. Please don't hurt me. I. I'll show you where it is. Now ah, you're being smart. Go on. You're darn shooting on smart. Try to rob me, will you, Duke Cutrell? Now you get off of my property and take that hard gun sling away before I kill the both of you. <laughs> ah, take it easy, Weaver. We never meant to rob you. Well, Omaha and I were just having a little fun. What's the matter with you, Pancho? What are you running from? Pancho is running from Cisco because Pancho have enough trouble to looking for rattlesnakes. But I told you before, rattlesnake is only the name of the town. There are no rattlesnakes there. <laughs> oh, that's different. Why didn't you tell me that before? Oh, oh. come on. Look, this 
Franco. The sign. You was wrong. The sign say, welcome to Rattling Snakes, and Pancho must not get beat. No? No, Pancho. It says the town welcomes Cisco and Pancho. He does? Of course. But we'll only be here long enough to get some supplies. Yeah, yet long enough to find some hombre who is in trouble, and they're going to put our food in it clear up to our neck, eh? <laughs> Stand back, Rattling Snakes. Here comes Cisco and Pancho. <laughs> Could I be of some assistance? Why, yes, my grandfather, John Weaver, was supposed to meet me. Well, I wouldn't worry, miss. If old John is supposed to be here and isn't, the stage must be early. Strangers. I'm gonna kill that mad dog. Not so fast, mister. This dog is not mad. He's been shot. But he bit me. Get out of the way. Mister, get away, mister. I think you better mind him, senor, before Cisco loses his temper. And Pancho think you better win, because this dog, he don't like you very too much. Andre! Excuse me, miss, but I heard you say John Weaver was your grandfather. Why, yes, he was supposed to meet me here. Have you any idea where he could be? No, but that's his dog, Kino. I hope I'm wrong, but I'm afraid something's happened to old John. You know, he and Kino are inseparable. You never see one without the other. Easy, Kino, easy. Please don't be alarmed, miss. The dog may have been shot accidentally, but my friend and I will find your grandfather and bring him to you. Wonder where Pancho. Uh, Cisco is good when it comes to finding trouble. Cisco? Are you the Cisco kid? That's what my friends call me. I wouldn't worry now, miss. Now with the Cisco kid on the job. I'll show you to your hotel. Thank you both very much. It's Cisco's pleasure. You are welcome. Hey, Kino. You stay with us. Pancho and I will doctor you. Hey, Pancho. Hey, Kino. But I warn you, if you put in with Cisco, you'll be putting your feet into trouble. All six of them. <laughs> oh, Pancho. You're beginning to look like the fine dog that you are, Kino. And your bullet wound, it's almost healed, thanks to Pancho. Hey, Dr. Pancho, if you please. Well, breakfast is ready. Come and catch him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Did you hear that, Kino? We're going to have breakfast. Hey, Kino. You are looking so clean, I think better you're going to have a napkin around your neck. <laughs> Why didn't you kill that dog? I was going to, but the Cisco kid and his partner wouldn't let me. Cisco kid? Yeah. Oh, he's bad medicine, dude. And it could be a lot worse if that dog leads him to Weaver's place. I know that. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go gun him down. What's 
get out of here. They're quitting, Pancho. Go get them, Chino. <laughs> this dude. Let's clear out for a while. Oh, quiet, Jim. Quiet. The idea of bringing that hound in here. I didn't bring him. He brought us here. Say, tell me, why is it that every time this dog sees you, he wants to attack you? Why don't you ask him? Quiet, Kino. Quiet. I wish he could talk. And maybe he could tell me who shot him and what happened to old John Weaver. And also who tried to bushel like Cisco and Pancho a while ago. Sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. You're lying, mister. I think you killed John Weaver. You can't talk to me like that. Get out of my office, both of you. Cisco, why don't you let Kino take a little bite out of him? Maybe he will tell us the truth. Get out. Get out of my office. We will, but we'll be back. You can depend on that. Come on, Pancho. Come on, Chino. Come on. Come on. Hey, Cisco, why do you let Chino take a little bite out of him? It's a shame to disappoint him this way. We can't prove anything against Cotrell, Pancho, when we don't know what he's done. Yeah, but he killed the old man, didn't he? That's what I think. But what I think is not proof. Oh, then all we have to do is to fall our hands and quit, huh? No, Pancho. We're going to get the proof. Go on, Kino. Go home. Go home, Kino. Go on. Go home. Come on, Pancho. We'll follow him. No, Pancho. But it looks like someone has made a very thorough search for something. For something? For what? For whatever it was that caused Weaver's disappearance. <coughs> what is it, Kino? Yeah, what are you trying to tell us, Cisco? I'm not so sure, Pancho. Hey, I think I know what it is. Listen to that. It sounds hollow. Must be a tunnel on the other side of this wall. Tunnel? How will you get into it? The wall is solid. <laughs> we'll find out. She's going to the wall. She's open. Help me, 
Pancho, es Jerry. He disappeared like a frijole from a frying pan. Let's look in that gully over there. <laughs> this is just like shooting fish in a barrel. Hold it. I have an idea that dog will lead him right to where Weaver hit his gold. We'll let him do just that little thing and then take care of him. Senor, they, they push him off the cliff, eh? Yes, I shot him too. Pancho, go back to the cabin and get a shovel. I get it. I hate to tie you up, Kino, but you may not understand what we're going to do with your master. Come here, boy. Pancho so long. Kino, you stay here. I'm going to see what happened to Pancho. Get him up, Cisco. Oh, so it's you, huh? Well, you're not so smart after all. I told you'd be along. Come on, give me a hand. Get that rope. Bring Ponto in here.
Get the gold outside while I arrange to pay our final respects to Cisco and Pacho. Are you sure this is going to look like an accident? Leave it to me. Get the gold. of it, dude. You wouldn't know what to do with so much gold, Omaha. Pancho, try to get your hands loose. Quick, hurry up. Kino. Here, Kino. Here, Kino. You were dead. You're going to wish we were, because we're turning you in for murder. <laughs> and I hope you will invite Cisco and me to your next type party. Come on, get going. You know, you take good care of the young lady. I still think you should take at least half the gold. Oh, but that much gold would only spoil us. <laughs> it certainly would. It spoil who? <laughs> Besides, our services are not for sale, are they, Pancho? <laughs> not if you don't say so. I think. Goodbye, amigos. See you soon. <laughs>
adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. Not now, Terry. I'm busy. It's important. I've got to talk. See me later. Hi, Sheriff. Oh. Do you mind if I talk to my client a minute? Oh, not at all. Give me your gun, Mr. Parker. Good. Right. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Yeah. $75,000 waiting to be cut up among us. There'll be no split if I go to trial. I think we ought to break you out of here. Divide the money and leave the country. Oh, no. Then I'd be wanted the rest of my life. Come on, Sheriff. We're ready. I've got a better idea. What is it? When the Cisco kid comes to town to identify me, get him. I can't do that. Right here under the Sheriff's nose. It's either that or... Sorry, Mr. Parker. You'll have to end your talk now. I gotta leave the office. Very well. What does my lawyer think of my new plan of defense? I'll do as you say. Now you're being smart. Not much use in my having a lawyer, is there, Sheriff? Not when I have to tell him how to prove my innocence. Thin on this be a Cisco kid. I'll flip you to see if I get him. Flip it. Hence. You'll take Poncho and like it, Joe. Seeks me, Lou. That lawyer knows what he's talking about. I got the best of the deal. How's that? I just fatter. Better target. I can't miss. Come on, Poncho. Closer. What's wrong, Pancho? Why are you riding so slow? Oh, Cisco, my saddle is no good. I better fix him. Pancho, you are up to a trick. Cisco, how you can look on top of my face and say such things to me? Pancho, you are deliberately delaying my trip to Dorado. Cisco, why we are always in such a hurry? For the 300th time, I tell you, the sheriff sent for me to identify that man that killed the banker and the holdup. Now, I saw him very plainly, and I can identify him. Cisco, take advice from a big fool like me, and don't stick your nose in other people's business. Someday you're gonna walk right into the ambushes. Just as I thought. There is nothing wrong with your cinch. Tighten it, hurry. Hey, Cisco, why don't you let me ride ahead of you and clear the way for you? Pancho, fix the cinch and let's get going. You're like a big baby. You wait here, Pancho.
got away clear. You and your tricks to save my life. Pancho. Uh, Pancho Miguel Gonzalez de Conejo is a fool. I'm going to break his own neck sometime. <laughs> Well, didn't work out as we expected. But you stopped them, didn't you? Yeah, but they got away. You bungly idiots. We did the best we Shut could. Shut up. Save your explanations for Tracy. Did the boys get Cisco? I'm sorry, Tracy. They tried, but he got away. You dimwit. Mr. Parker, I got... I told you I'm busy, Terry. It's about Tom Tracy. What about Tom? What's it worth to you and Tom for him to get out of jail? Who are you driving? Is it worth 5000 for him to walk out scot-free? You must have something quite definite in mind. I have. Is it worth 5000 Step into my office. How did it feel to be a free man? Fine. There never was any doubt about my innocence, was there? But no, of course not. You know, you're not such a bad lawyer after all, thinking up this one. The sheriff wasn't as happy about this as we are, the old fool. Sheriff, I was just telling my lawyer how nice you were to me. No hard feelings. I guess you had to do your duty. That's right. Well, you ought to be happy about it. This trial is going to be an easy one for you with Terry Ryan signed confession. He's your man, all right. Is he? You sound rather silly going into court and asking that question. Yeah, I reckon I would. Well, thanks again for your kind treatment. Well, you'll know where I'll be if you want me for anything. Come on, Tracy. You bet I'll know where to find you, both of you. But, Terry, this is ridiculous. How can you tell such a lie? Please, Pat, go away and leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. But I don't understand. You confess to committing a murder. They might hang you. I'll take my chances. You'll find your horse at the stable. Thanks. See me at the shack. Yes. Wait, wait a minute. Listen. Stop your worrying, Parker. You make me gloomy. I should be rejoicing at my good luck. I didn't like the way that sheriff talked. Maybe our plan would work. Why not? You sent the thousand dollars to the specialist Terry told you about, didn't you? Yes, otherwise you wouldn't have signed a confession. Then it'll work. Better. Remember, it was your idea. Meet me at the shack. with your flat feet on the ground. <laughs> hey, Pancho. That is the man I came here to identify. The one the sheriff picked up on suspicion. Did he break out from the jail? We'll find out. You're the man that shot the banker. What are you talking about? The sheriff has the guilty man locked in jail. Then if you're not guilty, you'll have no objections in going with me to the sheriff. You mind your own business, mister. Just a minute, Fisco. Hello, Sheriff. I'm afraid I brought you here on a wild goose chase. Go on, Sheriff. Tell this loco stranger he's asking for trouble stopping me this way. Go ahead, Tracy. You mean you really turned this outlaw loose? I had to let him go. Come on over to my office and I'll tell you about it. Miss Pat Lacey. He says she's going to marry the prisoner no matter what happens. The Cisco kid and Pancho. How do you do? So you're the one who's to identify the killer. That's right, miss. Well, there's Terry Ryan. Does he look like the killer? Well, Mr. Cisco kid? No. It was a man, not this boy. You see, what did I tell you? Now you've turned him loose. I'm sorry, I can't turn him loose, Pat. You mean you're going to keep an innocent man in jail? According to law, I've got to hold him. He signed a confession. Terry, you are making a very bad mistake. Why don't you mind your own business? Ah, but it is my business. I know he didn't shoot the banker. I said I did. 
Teddy, why did you tell this lie about yourself? Go away and leave me alone. He's a very strange zombie, this fellow, you know? Most men like to save their neck, but this one... Pancho, be quiet. I think, why all the time be quiet? Don't talk, shut up, don't talk. Why? Why? Pancho, you want me to tell you? Well, after giving it a second think... No. <laughs> don't worry, miss. We'll find out what this is all about. I'll be at my place taking care of his mother, if you want me. Goodbye, Terry. Goodbye, Pat. Someone's coming. It's only Parker. Well, gentlemen. Howdy, Counselor, what brings you out here? No, don't answer that. You come about your fee. You're a very thoughtful client. Well, when do we split the kitty? After I've taken care of Terry. Properly. What do you mean? Well, I'm not sending the rest of that 5000 to the doctor. And I'm not breaking the kid out of jail. But that's what I promised him. I thought... Oh, that... Stop it. As long as that kid's alive, I stand a chance of being hung. He might turn yellow and blab. Once he's dead, that confession he signed stands, right? Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to stay here and hold up for a while. Until it's all over. And what's all over? The hang in the Terry Ryan. That might take weeks. Not my way. Hello. Who are you and Joe going to town? Stir things up. You know, like a good old-fashioned winch and bee. And remember, that banker was liked by everyone. I got you, Tom. You know, maybe I should have been a lawyer. Go ahead, have some coffee. Don't let a little thing like this upset you. The banker was a pretty good friend to most of you. Something's got to be done about his cold-blooded killing. By the time the circuit judge arrives, he might escape. Why, he might drum up some legal trick to get out of this. That's the way it happened, men, and something should be done about it. What's going on out here? Trouble. Let's take him out of jail and get it over with. Get him, sir, get him. Okay, we're going to take him with us. Pancho, get our horses. Get one for Teddy also. Well, hey! You're going with Cisco. I'll keep him busy a few minutes. Hey, get up out there! You want your prisoner? <laughs> You better ride on back home. I'm going wherever Terry goes. How's Mom? Don't worry, she's all right.
chance to tell the truth, Danny. I don't know what you're talking about. The money you got for your mother's operation. You got it from Tracy, didn't you? Think it over, Terry. Even if the operation was a success, when she hears you your trouble, it'll kill her. They'll get me out of it, they promise me. That's a promise. It was his lawyer, eh? Well, see how he's doing it. Yeah, I see it. I certainly wasn't full, but I needed the cash for Mom's operation. Well, now that we know the truth, we'll win this fight, won't we, Cisco? Sheriff. That's right. Let me talk to them and tell them the truth. Maybe they'll stop firing. They wouldn't let you finish one sentence.
Parker. You're going to Tonga with me. Oh, wait a minute, Cisco. I... Hello, Cisco. Move over there. Get his gun, Parker. I was wondering what happened to you, Tom. I was going to take you with me, Parker, but I couldn't find room for your things in my bag. <laughs> identify you for two killings. Well, Sheriff, now that everything is under control, Pancho and I will be on our way. You know, Cisco, I'm very happy about this town. Pancho, I'm very happy you're happy at last. <laughs> My heart is filled with happiness because all those gilded men are in the calabooses. <laughs> and the senorita's going to marry Terry, and they will live happy ever afterwards. Pancho, you surprised me. I didn't know he had any romance left in your soul. Yeah, I don't got no romances. Only if she married him, that will be one less than you needed to fall in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Sheriff. Goodbye, Cisco. How you doing? Goodbye, Sheriff. Oh, yeah, one thing more. Tell those bandidos to keep in touch with you. Huh? Tell the bandidos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you hear that, Tracy? He just tell you bandidos keep in touch with me. <laughs> hey, Pancho, your saddle cinch is loose. You can't fool Pancho with his own tricks. <laughs> it's not a trick. Be careful. Pancho Miguel Fernando Gonzalez y Conejo is one big fool. <laughs> Goodbye, amigos. See you soon. <laughs> Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. Cisco, you just come back in time. This chicken was getting cold without no clothes on. <laughs> You're not ready anyway. What you need is a good bed of hot coals. Oh, Cisco, I learned to cook from the greatest cooks in the whole world, and they always cook over an open fire. your gun belts. What? I said drop your guns. Then give me your money. <laughs> money? <laughs> Mister, you make a big joke. Money? Why is Pancho going to get money? Pancho's right. We have no money. Stand back there. I said stand back there. <laughs> Just as I thought. No bullets. Me? I am robbed without bullets? This is too much. Please, mister. I never meant you no harm. Let me go. Are you hungry? Pancho, put the coffee on the fire. Tell me what's troubling you. Nothing I can't take care of. By robbing people? 
If you really meant business, what were you doing with a gun without bullets? Well, I guess maybe I was afraid I might hurt somebody. I've never done this before, mister. Then why try now? Well, I... I I'm sorry I've done it, and I don't want to talk about it. Oh, maybe you'll feel better after you eat. No, Pancho! How many times I've told you not to cook a chicken that way? You must have hot coals. How many times have I told you that the smoke would give the flavor? Yeah, and it leaves it raw in the middle. Zinko, I will bet you are right when it comes to shooting and fighting. But Pancho Miguel Fernando Gonzalez de Conejo is right when it comes to cooking. I should have kept my eye on him. Sin and now he leaves us here barefoot without horses. I hope that loco buys that old man. If he don't, I'm going to bite him myself. Walking is good exercise, Pancho. <laughs> yeah, I like it when I don't have to use my feet. We have 500 head down there ready to shift whenever you say the word. I'll tell you what we'll do. Mr. Kellis. What do you want? I'm sorry if I disturbed you, Mr. Kellis, sir. But please... Wait a minute. Here, I'll beat it. We're busy. Oh, I ain't begging. I'm here to... I've got a couple of mighty fine horses hitched out there, and I'll, I'll sell them cheap, Mr. Kelly, sir. Yeah, where'd you get them? They're mighty fine horses. Mr. Kelly, please buy them. You think I'm foolish enough to buy stolen horses? What's the matter with you, Silas? I'm begging you. Please buy them. What for? I've just got to have the money. What do you need the money for, Silas? Now stop acting like an idiot and either tell me or get out. That's my daughter. She's coming here today to find her dad's nothing but an old bum. She thinks you're pretty well fixed, huh? You see, you know how it is when you write into someone you never expect to see again. Well, I've been kind of building myself up to her, and I can't let her find out. I just can't. Silas, how would you like to have a ranch of your own? Clothes, plenty of food. Don't make fun of me, sir. No, I mean it. I've been wanting to buy the Circle O Ranch, but it wouldn't look good, me being the general manager of the packing house. Now, if you were to buy it, look. Suppose you go out and get yourself some new clothes and meet that stage. Your ranch will be waiting. Gosh, Mr. Kelly. Now, you must never tell anybody about this. So far as anyone else is concerned, you bought that ranch. Oh, yeah. No, nobody will ever learn nothing no different from me. Oh, sir. Thanks, Mr. Kelly. Well, Shelby, you've been saying you didn't feel safe using that old vacant ranch. There's your tenant. The perfect front. If anybody finds cattle there, the old goat won't know from nothing. Better than a gold mine, and twice as safe. <laughs> Senorita. Get away from there. Why? From up here, it looks so charming. I said get away from there. All right, I will. From 
And down here, you look more charming. Oh, senorita. I see you have met my friend Cisco. Cisco meet all the beautiful senoritas. I am Pancho. Sometime they meet me too. You get out of here, I'll scream. Scream if you like, but this dust is very bad for the throat. You aren't desperados? Disappointed? Well, yes. I'd always heard of the West as being full of bandits and outlaws. But so far, all I've seen are bare mountains and deserts. Ah, there are other things in the West. For instance? I'll show them to you. From over there, please. <laughs> you are a very clever senorita. You're getting more beautiful all the time. Look, Cisco, there's the man who kidnapped Loco. I guess we'd better get started. You've got a long drive. Hey, what did you do with Loco? With what? You know what I'm talking about. You're a little confused. This gentleman is Mr. Bernard of the Circle O. He didn't tell us his name when he stole our horses. Why? Why, I never saw you before. Don't you dare accuse my father of stealing your horses. I'll have you know he owns one of the biggest ranches in this country. Look, Cisco. Just a minute, men. Where did you get those horses? It's none of your business. It certainly is our business. They're ours. Nobody accuses me of stealing horses. What happened? The Cisco kid jumped us and stole our horses. Cisco kid? That means trouble. I'll send out an alarm. I don't want Cisco and his pal hanging around while this deal is on. Get rid of him. Turn the tables upside down and do a little bushwhacking, eh, Cisco? Not yet, Pancho. Now I wonder where they got to. Well, we better head back to the ranch. Where we go from here, Cisco? 
I told you before, Pancho. I want to have a talk with this old man. She's, everybody's happy. The senorita, she's got a fire, we got our horses, and why don't she leave well enough by itself? Well, I want to find out why one minute this old man is a bum and the next minute he's a prosperous rancher. Well, Chico, that's his business. When he steals our horses, it is our business, my friend. So, this is the ranch. He talked pretty plain, eh? Yes, but he doesn't keep his gates locked. Uh-oh, a guard. Let's ride over there and see what he's guarding. Mountain goat. <laughs> Look, Pancho. Cisco, with all this rancho to eat in, why do they keep the cattle in a little canyon like that? I wonder how many heads really belong there. Oh, Cisco, you always want to make nothing out of something. Maybe so. But why that guard over there? <laughs> He's over there to tell the cattle not to leave. For anyone else not to come in. Look, Pancho. What are you looking at, Cisco? This brand has been changed. Whoever changed it didn't do a very good job. That's why they killed the steer and buried the hide. Hey, Cisco, but this is a job for the sheriff, and we can't see the sheriff because he wants us for horse stealing. This went. No, Pancho. That old man is in trouble, all right, but he's not a rustler. He wouldn't waste his time stealing our horses if he had a business like this. Come on, we're going to talk to him. tonight to make room for the others we're getting next week. This place is sure swell cover to work from, boss. We want to talk to you. I thought you had them finished off. They will be this time, for sure. Now, sir, what is it you want? You know, Cisco has got a great curiosity. He don't like nothing he can't tangle up. <laughs> now, when you came to our camp... Your camp? Oh. I've never been to your camp. Now, look, mister. I know you're in trouble. If you don't want our help, we'll go away. See, we, we all go. I don't know what you're talking about. Then what's the stolen cattle doing on your land? Stolen cattle? There are no stolen cattle on this ranch, sir. I think you really believe that. That's why we came to see you. Cisco, look out! <laughs> Thank you. 
Go on, get out. Drop that gun. Gentlemen, gentlemen, wait, please. These men have come to help me. This is my friend, Mr. Kelly, and my foreman, Shelby. They stole two horses in town today. No, no I'll explain that uh, later. Then maybe someone can explain why those men tried to kill me. Well, I don't know anything about that, but I do know you've made a serious accusation. He claims they have stolen cattle in one of the canyons. I hope you are prepared to prove that. I can, and I will. Well, young man, I've been a lot of mean things in my time, but I've never rustled and I've never killed. And if you can show me any cattle that don't belong here, they'll be returned to their rightful owners. I'll be glad to. Come on, Pancho. Let's get our horses. See, what this girl is too nice a it is to make trouble for. Let's win. What? I leave her here with all these questions and answered? I didn't hear her say one little word. You know, Cisco, someday you're going to wake up and find out that the moon has a mousetrap and you are the green cheese. Oh, Pancho, you and your little jokes. Paula, you stay here. There's likely to be trouble. You don't know what it's like out here in the West. Well, then it's time I found out. After all, I intend to live here. You're just like your mother. cattle in Red Rock Canyon, like you said, it's that way. I'm going the back way. There may be guards over there. Good idea, Cisco. Suppose we separate and come in from two directions. Shelby and I'll go this way. No, it's better we all go together. I said we'd go that way. Why? Because you set the numbers for us? So, it was true all along. There are Russell cattle here. you to think I was big, Paula. Successful. Be proud of me. Dad, don't, don't talk like that. He'll be all right if we can get him to a doctor. Go get Kelly. I'll stay here and take care of him. He'll pull through. Come on, Pancho. Pancho, just as I thought. It's a trap. Hey, what are you going to do about that guard? We'll take care of him first. Bring your rope. Take his place and delay them in case anything happens. Oh, that's a pleasure. Tie him up. Bueno. Wonder what's keeping them. Maybe they went around up top. Ask a question. 
I didn't see not nothing. That's not Al's voice. Go have a look. Shots came from up there. <laughs> One punch, Pancho. Rustlers in this state, Mr. Kelly. Well, what are you going to do now, Cisco? What do we ever do with them, Pancho? Oh, the same as unusual, eh? <laughs> we'll take them to the sheriff. Oh, take them to the sheriff. How different. We take them to the sheriff, we put them in jail. We knock them out, we bring them to, we tie them up, we turn them loose. <laughs> Nothing to do till next time. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be up and around in no time. See, if the locking of the jaw or the gang of green don't sit in, you'll be out like that. <laughs> hey, Cisco, why is it? They're all locked up, every last one of them. You're looking mighty fit for an old fellow. Oh, you can't kill an old man like me. The only thing I hate is leaving this ranch. You don't have to. You wouldn't josh an old man, would you? I most certainly wouldn't do a thing like that. Kelly bought the ranch in her name, remember? That's right. The owners of those stolen cattle insisted you keep some of them. Sort of a foundation herd, you might say. Oh, Dad! Now we can be ranchers, just like you always said. Honey. You make me feel like your mother's come back to me at last. Maybe she never left your heart. Cisco, Pancho! Oh, 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 Cisco, you are playing with firecrackers. Oh, Pancho, oh, <laughs> Cisco! Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid.
Oh, Cisco, I like it here. The smell is so good, and the singing of the birds is like music to my ears. It's like a green paradise in the middle of the desert. Why didn't we never come here before? Because, Pancho, this is the first time we have trailed Red Kelly. Oh, forget about him, and just think of how nice it is to be alive. Let's stay that way, huh? <laughs> Cisco, never before have I seen a man so friendly with a bullet. Why don't you throw that one away, and I will give you plenty of bullets for you to play with. <laughs> this is a very special one, Pancho. If I can get Red Kelly to fire a shot, then I'll know if he's the one that has killed our good friend, the United States Marshal. Oh, so when he shoots us, then you will be happy, eh? You think so? <laughs> Won't miss. Do as he says, Pancho. Why did you shoot at us? If they shot at you, you wouldn't be talking now. Get their guns. What is this, Cisco? Is these good men who think we are bad or bad men who think we are good? We'll soon find out, Pancho. Come on, let's ride. <laughs> Give me a great pleasure to be your man, miss. It's Cisco. I, I still don't know whether you are a good man or bad. No, Shelby. It was neither one of them. Well, don't you worry, Mr. Ann. The boys are out covering the whole valley. We'll find your horse thief. Give him back their guns. <laughs> oh, it's Cisco. After all, these are good men who thought we was bad, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry you were inconvenienced. Won't you have lunch with me? Eat? Oh, Punchy, he's hungry. <laughs> Thanks, miss. Did I hear you call that man Shelby? Yes. Could he be Al Shelby, the hold-up man? Yes. There's quite a price on his head, but I wouldn't try to collect it around here. Chico, I don't get this. This hold-up man worrying about the horse stealers and keeping the pieces. Perhaps Miss Doran can tell us. Why, Mr. Shelby is a member of our very efficient police force. Oh, a crooked man gone straight, huh? When you were a little boy, did you ever play hide-and-go-seek? He's going to do it all the time with his share, but why are you talking about little boys' games for? It isn't a little boys' game when men like Al Shelby and Blackie Moran play it. I don't understand. Well, you see, this is their home base. They're free to come and go as they please. And while they're here, no one can tag them. The sheriff made a deal with them. They keep our little valley free of crime, and in return, he gives them immunity. You mean these men can do anything they want to outside of the valley, and then they can come back here and the sheriff affords them protection? It's just about that. Hey, don't tell us you are a bandido, too. Me? No, my father left me this ranch. That's why I'm still here. Well, Pancho, it seems that we came to the right town to find the man I'm looking for. Do you know Red Kelly? Good old Red. Oh, of course. He's the head of our social circle, the life of the party, whenever he is not a town on business. Pancho, I think we have to go to town on business. Then maybe Cisco will have Kelly shoot his pistolas at me. Then he will dig out the bullet and that will make him happy. But how can Pancho be happy if he's dead? Thank you for the information, miss, and for the lunch, too. Come on, Pancho. We're leaving now. But I don't finish my dinner yet. Come on, Pancho, I said. Oh, Cisco, I'll go someplace to get a nice home cooked stew like that. You don't give me no time for my indigestion. I don't know why I can wait a little while. My stomach is to death. Goodbye, miss. Good luck.
Just a minute, you two. Thought I recognized you. Cisco Kid and Pancho. So? What's your business here? Let to say we're just passing through. Then see that you do. I'm surprised at you, Sheriff. From what I heard about your town, Pancho and I should be welcome here. I choose the men I want here. And I choose the town I want. Right, Pancho? Right, Cisco. Hey, Cisco is funny that way. But me, I'm a different proposition. I take the town or leave it. Then I suggest that you leave it before sundown. Hey, Pancho. See those men over there? That's Hal Wilton in Montana. Hold up, men. Uh-oh. There is Dan Nolan, a cattle rustler. This town is full of them. That's Bert Foster, Pancho. One of Red's men. Red must be inside. Hey, Cisco, look, that's a first-class beautiful horse, huh? Eh? Uh-huh. Robber's Roost. That's the right name for it, Pancho. Hello, Red. Hello, Cisco. Meet my pal, Al Shelby. Yes, I had met him before. But it gave me great displeasure to meet him again. Hey, so you think you are a better shooter than I are, eh? Pancho! Say, what's this all about? Mr. Shelby made a mistake. Aren't you? Mistakes are liable to happen to anyone. Yeah. Mistakes like this can keep an undertaker very busy. These are the birds I told you about. Are you the Cisco kid? And I thought you were horsey. Different people think I'm different things. You're wearing your hand pretty close to your gun, Cisco. That's because I have a lot of respect for you, Red. Yeah? Yeah. A lot of people say you are a better shot than I am. It makes me self-conscious. Who say that, Cisco? Everybody know you are the best shooter what are. Is that so? I always did have an eye on your horse, Diablo, Cisco. How do you like my bay horse? The one tied outside there? That's right. That's a pretty good bet, Red. Let's find a target. How about that sign on the wall? It suits me fine, Red. We'll put a bullet in the letter O. Give you something to shoot at. Like the best I can get is a tie. Let me have your gun, Al. Well, I guess this bet will never be settled, Cisco. Fred, I'll shoot against you once more. But this time, use your own gun. Oh, no. I never use my gun for games, just for business. Get your hands up, both of you. Get Pancho's gun. Who do you think you're kidding, Cisco? I know what you're up to. I tried that trick once myself. Trick? Wait, Red, you don't know what you're talking about. Ah, oh, don't give me that. You and Pancho are going to need an undertaker real quick. You? They're not only wanted for robbery, Red, but now I'm going to prove you're wanted for murder. Drop your gun here, too. Drop my set. Thanks, Sheriff. Sheriff, eh? Whose side are you on? I'm against anyone starting trouble. I'm sure you started this. I have plenty of reason to. Here, take a look at this. 
Besides saying that Red Kelly is wanted for robbery, that circular was taken from the hand of a marshal who was shot in the back near Plainsville. And that says a lot more. Plainsville? Where is that? About three days' ride from here. Then it's no concern of mine. Plainsville is out of my jurisdiction. What kind of sheriff are you? Is this the way you enforce law and order? How can a man do that? Shut up! Why, you... Leave him alone, Al. What are we going to do with him, Sheriff? Drive him out of the valley. It's a good idea. We'll go along with you. Take him out to the horses, Al. Get out of here. Sheriff, how about passing a law making it illegal for Cisco and Pancho to live? That's exactly what I have in mind. Well, then why don't we do it here? You're forgetting, Red. I've got to keep up appearances. There are quite a few decent folks in town, and it wouldn't look so good. Might even start a revolt. All right, we'll do it your way. What are you stopping for? My sense is loose. Do you mind if I fix it? Go ahead, but don't get any fancy ideas. I've got to cut some leather. Have you got a knife? Maybe you want me to fix it for you. If you'd like to. This sheriff, he acts more like a bandido than a sheriff. Pancho, he is worse than an outlaw. Not only does he sell them protection, but I am sure now he shares in their loot also. Uh, where we go now? We're going to go where the elite expect to look for us. Come on.
And it looks like they gave us a split. Yeah, and I don't like it. But that Cisco kid on the loose, we're all able to fall off of that gravy wagon. Not me, Red. From now on, shoot on sight. I'm not letting the Cisco kid or anyone else spoil our business. Give the rest of the boys and comb the whole valley. I'm going back to the office. Okay, sir. Let's go. against the middle, he usually winds up with the whole thing wrapped around his neck. And good and tight, too. Pancho, take care of him. Uh, with pleasure. Get your big fish over to the cell. On the left. Hey, don't look so unhappy because you're going to have plenty companies. Doing this, Cisco. Fixing a little trap for Red Kelly and the other outlaws. Cisco, you mean you're making a trap from a piece of paper? Yes, Pancho. <laughs> this kind of trap I don't understand. Well, then I try to explain to you, Pancho. What would you do if you were one of these outlaws? and thought that the sheriff had double-crossed you. I do. <laughs> That's exactly what Shelby and the others are going to try to do when they see this wanted poster. Look, look what it says. Wanted for robbery and murder. Red Kelly. The immunity grant of this criminal has been withdrawn. Jim Turner, Sheriff, Twin Buttes County. There is a printer in town. We'll have him run a number of these and then we'll scatter them all over the country. <laughs> you know, the is the best trap I ever think about. Pancho, you are positively brilliant. <laughs> now look, go to Miss Doran's ranch and tell her to bring the United States Marshal from Durango. With pleasure. I go now, eh? Remember, fellas, the sheriff is my niece. I'll teach him to double-cross me. I still don't get it, Red. What made him switch all of a sudden? I don't know, and I don't care. He put up those wanted dodges, and that's enough for me. Hey, did you see anything yet? No. Come here. 
Maybe they didn't swallow the fish. They'll be along, Pancho. We keep watching the front. That was Pancho. It's a trap. We'll trap him and Cisco instead. Montana, you, Hal, and Ed go around the back. They spotted you, all right? Hey, Cisco Pancho don't got no brims at all. Hey, now we are the ones who win a trap. You stay here. Pancho, lock this door. would like to know too. And here is the evidence that will hang red. Nice work, Cisco. Twin Buttes could use a man like you as sheriff, Cisco. Yeah, well, Cisco, you can't do that. What will your wife say? Your wife? Are you married? Oh, oh are you married? You should see your little kid. Pancho. <laughs> he got five of them, and they all look like Cisco. Got the same kind of face. <laughs> well, goodbye, Cisco. Well, goodbye, miss. Hey, Pancho. How many times I've told you not to tell lies? Why did you have to say a thing like this to her about me? Well, you see, because she, she had a wedding in her eye. Oh, Pancho. Oh, Cisco. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.